What's up guys? It's your magic man Magus on a beautiful day in Asha. Today I got a special treat for you. We're going to head on a walk through the Pacific Northwest and we're going to read through Asha, our sacred text. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. I know you're going to love this video. Do me a favor real quick. Hit that like button and know I love, love, love you. The whole universe vibrates with expectant energy for God is with child and all throughout the celestial palace the prospect of ever expanding good radiates brilliant and bright with joy as the highest principle of good shines the light of observance on the dark waves that is the plastic medium of creation and in conformity to law the wise Lord's highest desire was focused into form young, timeless, and beneficial to all. Perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same. Be aware at all times of your high standing. Always remember the covenant written on your mind that you might not forget you are a child of the King. My only job is to align with and hold continuously in mind the attributes of God, love, life, peace, joy, power, and freedom, and be those attributes. My mind is God. My thoughts are not always God. May my thoughts align with mind. Create with word. These four powers are the mental power concerned with forming temperance, self-restraint. Do, do not sin or think air, fortitude, strength in facing adversity without fear, without doubt. Reason, a basis or a cause for a belief, the highest truth, Asha. Energy, a source of usable power. God, the highest principle of good. Believe only the highest truth in Enter Asha, as the wise Lord is perfect, so his idea of creation is perfect. This is called Asha truth. This idea of truth is the very spirit of God. It is much more than not making a false statement. It is the true vision of God's ideal existence. It is the real above all real, the highest truth, creation in perfect harmony, where nothing occurs at the expense or harm of another thoughts make your world beliefs make your thoughts reason makes your beliefs mind reasons mind is the reason know this then illusion goes away belief in only good it is this complete trust that brings out manifestations now real as they already are by means of reason i'm grateful for life I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for friends. I'm grateful for protection. I'm grateful for provision. I'm grateful for peace. I'm grateful for joy. I'm grateful for I live in this. I live in my good resonance. I know being grateful will bring more things to be grateful for. I will seek the thought of God, Asha, the perfect creator's perfect mind created a perfect thought. I am that thought. I am perfect spirit. I choose not to be double-minded. I choose to think God and not the lie. I am perfect spirit. God's child thought and spirit makes form and matter. Therefore, my world is perfect. On a subconscious level, I live in truth and the lie of discord disappears. The spell of separation is broken. In truth, all is good. All is God. I am awakened to who I am. I have shed the illusion of the lower animal. I have let go all air. I refuse to hold the vibrations, feelings, or emotions of the lie. I live only in the vibration of truth, Asha, God's highest idea of good. My eyes will not see nor ears hear the lie and illusion. I turn away if I sense bad energy. 
I turn away and remove myself if others choose bad energy. No one can force bad energy on me for I am light and in light there is no darkness. This opinion, this thought held is the key to the kingdom and this wisdom rules both worlds. What energy am I? Today is the day of salvation. Envelop yourself in God's idea. I am love. I am life. I am peace. I am joy. I am one with good spirit and evil cannot enter me. I live consciously in good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. I will release my own ideas to receive spirit's idea. Removing the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. You must burn out the impurities to find true essence. Purity is a must. If your vessel is mixed with poison, pour it out and fill it with pure substance. There is nothing for me outside of myself, for I have spent too long looking outside myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories. I go inside and I find my Savior. I realize there's no separation from my good, my God, for we are one. All the truth and happiness I was searching for is here now in me. I am that. Good is, God is, Asha is. The original word of the good religion is all good comes from the Creator and no evil comes from Him. From this original word is the spiritual world made straight and the material world brought into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator and in this false idea is all the evil the creatures suffer. I live in God, and God is good. God is omnipresent, that means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now, my good is here now. Tell the truth, for giving true witness a man will be saved. Only think and speak truth to yourself and it will form. Think God's highest idea of truth, Asha, and live. Keep the power of truth in mind and make it your model. Then trust God and let it be because it already is. You'll see it already is. Don't worry. Don't strive to make something happen. Don't try and force it. Just align. Everyone who is of the truth hears the truth. When man sins or thinks, speaks or acts in error, it's against his nature for he comes from the good spirit and shall return to the good spirit. God put the good mind, the divine spark in all his creatures, so it has a guide at all times. It's how the seed knows to climb out of the ground and become a plant, how the planets stay their course, and how man will find his way home to Asha, truth. Living in truth is life without enemies. For evil, the lie and illusion is rendered nothing. So go Ashavan, truth knower, in truth and enjoy this wonderful life, knowing you are God's thought, living in God's idea, perfection. Asha is.